sellout crowd in Boston. These fans have cheered their team on to a perfect 7-0 playoff record. And they're trying to make it another one to advance them to the conference finals. Kevin Garnett. Now the Boston Celtics all tied up with LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Three games apiece. Rondo had a great game five, struggled game six. Kevin Garnett's first shot won't go. But Rondo, an excellent rebounding guard, able to haul it in. Watching Pierce and James, as Pierce puts in the first one, watching these two big time scorers defend each other has been a lot of fun because they both up their defense. As Pierce opens up exactly the way the Celtics would have loved, a couple of good jump shots early. Well, one of the things that LeBron James has trouble with is screens on the ball. He's such a big body, it's hard to negotiate those screens as he knocks it in, which allows Pierce some separation. And they've done a great job of realizing how the Celtics can hurt him and taking him out of those things. Most notably, Ray Allen and Paul Pierce. Serbiak now on Pierce on this possession. Garnett, good wide open shot. I really like the aggressiveness of Paul Pierce early. Missed the last jump shot, but continues to look to, to make plays. That time puts it on the floor and finds Garnett. Boy, Garnett has been a monster on the boards in the first four minutes. Pierce hits a three. Paul Pierce lighting it up to start. And the Celtics lead by eight. Timeout, Cavaliers. James, tough move. Won't go down. Ben Wallace can't grab it. Here comes Rondo. Three on two, Rondo to Pierce, perfect timing on the pass. No, and here you're watching Paul Pierce defend James. See, all these body bumps are 50-50 calls, and that's why it's so important that you get established early in the game on the off, on the defensive end. James, nice up and under move, and able to get it to go. That's their first points in five and a half minutes. James gets inside, oh, beautiful power move from LeBron James. Talk about a strength, the ability to go to the left hand, avoiding contact, and then finish, and finish at the rim. James to the basket. Oh, a hard foul. Ray Allen hit him. Shot clock down to six. Pierce, pretty play. Pierce is on the mark in the early going. Well, the same mentality that we're talking about KG should have. Pierce realized I'm being guarded by Pavlovich one-on-one. Help doesn't come. I'm going to take this guy. James on the drive, Posey stays with him. Oh, pretty shot, LeBron James. James, drive, blocked with a foul. 13 points, six points for the rest of the team. And he's getting to the line, Pierce gets inside, Pierce left-handed. Pierce getting it done early, 13 points. Here, a very difficult split move, and then goes in and finishes with his left hand. Very good adjustment by Doc Rivers, putting him in a pick and roll. And frankly, I didn't know he was this efficient running the pick and roll. Pierce steps back for three. Gets it to go. Hits the front of the rim and goes forward. 16 first half points for Pierce, and we still have over seven and a half minutes to play. A real spark. We can score points in a hurry. Speaking of that, LeBron James, that's a two as his foot was on the line. When you think about that, how many pure point guards are there? You got to let this guy play basketball. Pierce has the ball in his hands, will put Eddie House in position to catch and shoot. Pierce will go to the line for two more. Nice feed, Perkins inside. Paul Pierce doing a little bit of everything. Yeah, that's why you don't need a real point guard on the floor because Paul Pierce has the basketball in his hands and he's making great decisions. That time gets trapped, finds Perkins. James to the basket. There is Yao. Make it an eight-point deficit. Garnett. Pierce, wide open three. Bang! Damon Jones back in again. With Barajo, West Pavlovich, and James, as Jeff said, a very small lineup right now. James inside, count it, and a foul. When you see him make plays like that, it's like you feel he can do that every single time. He's so powerful. Pierce again on the drive. Takes his time. Pierce. And a late whistle, but a foul. Posey with the help. Good ball denial, stolen by Pierce. Pierce to the basket, foul again, as he goes crashing into one of the cameramen, and he's shaken up on the play. James, inside, and he's fouled. And people, do not adjust your TV sets. It's just smoky. It has nothing to do with Paul Pierce being on fire. 
He got it off a pull up. Then he ran the pick and roll to perfection here. Another mid range J. Again, stringing out Ilgauskas. LeBron James has a little trouble negotiating the screen and gets it a fortunate bounce. And then this, a very improved Paul Pierce, ball handling wise. Sees the hard show, splits the show, takes it to the rim, and finishes with his left hand. 26 points in the first half. Perkins now is just roaming the whole area. James drives down the other end and puts it in at a foul. Bad pass from Perkins on the offensive end. Led James to bring the Cavs within eight. James steps back. Still hasn't hit a three in the games here in Boston as West knocks down the three. And all of a sudden, it's a five-point game. Good patience by James. Could have left it instead. Waited. Found the open man. West continued to trust his team. Ogowskis again facing the basket, and it's a three-point game. Timeout, Boston. Big Z with a couple of big shots, and it's 52-49. You're walking the ball up every single time. You gave up two wide-open threes. You cannot ease into this thing. You've got to be kidding me. Pierce hits a three. Big bucket. And Jeff, you felt the same way. You can't believe the way the Celtics have come out here in the third. It is perplexing that in this game you come out with so little energy to start a second James. half. James, it's good. 27 for LeBron James. It's incredible when great basketball players can make bad offensive sets look good. And this is why Celtic fans were fearful of the game seven against the LeBron James as Pierce comes back because of what a superstar can do. But on their favor, Paul Pierce is playing like a superstar here this afternoon. Midway through the third, James hits a three. That's his first three pointer here in Boston. He'd been really struggling from downtown on the road 0 for 17 until that one there's the double pierce he's feeling it paul pierce lighting it up with 33. timeout cavaliers standing ovation here in boston the two big stars have been lebron james and paul pierce and this is called player tracker but it should be called star tracker lebron james great anticipation one man fast break too strong for the Celtics and then a bad offensive set. He just backs up. He's gonna be given a cushion. He knocks it in and then a pick and roll. Again, space, time, and ability to get on balance and knock it in. Pierce nearly stripped. Good strength that time for Pierce. Brown with the bucket. It's easy offense. The way that the Cavs are defending the pick and roll anytime the perimeter players for the Celtics come off, Biggs will be able to make a play for themselves or someone else. Joe Smith. Would have a guy like that who can knock down shots come off the bench. Well, that's why he has to play going down the stretch because you have to keep the Celtic defenders honest. And Joe Smith is a big that can knock down shots. James hands it off West for three. Hits it. Delante West from downtown. And it's a four-point game. You talk about the high IQ of LeBron James also. He sets who's ready to play, who's ready to make shots, makes a play for West. James nearly falls. James to the basket. Hammered by P.J. Brown. Pierce gets past James. Nice feed inside. Pretty pass from Paul Pierce to the lead back to six. Keeping the ball in Pierce's hands. And time and time again, he is making the right plays. Triple penetration, finding guys open. Garnett now on James. The defensive player of the year against the game's leading score. James blocked, but a foul. Pierce has just been brilliant today. On the pull-up. Puts it in. What a tough shot for Paul Pierce. Has the package offensively. Obviously, this afternoon has a rhythm. Clearing the way, isolation, knocking down the jump shot as LeBron is on his heel. James, that's a three. It's good. LeBron James from downtown. And it's back to a four-point game. 37 for LeBron. I can see why this young man says he's never desperate. Any team that he's on is never desperate. Making plays down the stretch. James and Pierce putting on a show for the fans. Pierce on a drive, on the pull-up. It's good. 39 for Pierce. You know, when you're coaching in this league, it's what's working. Well, Paul Pierce is what's working. 
get him the ball and get out of his way. James and Pierce going back and forth at each other. James will try another three. Knocks it down. Back-to-back -back threes for LeBron James. And it's 83-80. One of these two are going to have a great performance and come out a loser. Well, a great player say, get out of my way. It's time for me to make a play. Pierce is doing that on his end. And again, this one was well defended, too. James just throws up and stuck the three. James, Garnett on him. Shot clock down to five. James on the drive, gets inside, tough shot, he knocks it down. And it's back to three. And I'm gonna say this right now, I am in a double team and blitz LeBron James on every pick and roll. Anybody but LeBron James, I want shooting the ball right now. Here's to Garnett again. Tough shot, it's good. Celtics by five. Smart play by Rondo. Pull it out as opposed to doing something that your team will pay the price. Gets Kevin Garnett on the block with a big time move. Offensively, Pierce knocks down a jumper. Isolation, LeBron does the same thing on his end. His end. They're playing a game. Anything you can do, I can do better. One guy saying, no, I can't. The other, yes, I can. The question is, where does it end? LeBron isolation against KD. Everybody out of my way. I'm going to take advantage of this matchup. Both guys spectacular to close out this James game. James with the steal. Here he goes. And James makes it a one-point game with 2.20 to play. And this is the closest the Cavs have been since the opening minutes. They've never led. And now trail by a point. LeBron James with 44 points and his defense doing it again. James, he'll drive. James gets inside. He's fouled. Shot won't go. Conley puts that one in. Four-point game. Watch free throws from the Celtics. Back up by six. Two-possession game. James kicks it out. Pavlovich for three. Puts it in. Three-point game with 8.6 remaining. And there, Pierce is fouled. And this one not over yet. It goes in. 40 points for Pierce. And a huge sigh of relief. Clutch free throws again. James gets it. Fires up a quick three. Won't go. Smith the rebound. Back out. Stolen by House. And that'll do it. The Celtics are going back to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time since 2002.